So this video is for standard square meter measuring. And what we mean by standard is that this is the most common type of square meters that you'll be measuring. It's as opposed to things like pitched square meters, uh, which we have a video for, and also vertical square meters, um, which is a specific tool, and we also have a video for that. But uh, this is definitely the most common square meter tool that you'll be using. We also have a look at deductions, as well as a couple of tips and tricks to make all this easier for you. So to do this, I'm gonna go into the brick laying category, and I'm gonna add a new line just down the bottom here. I'm gonna say bricks, and I'm not gonna worry about picking search results. I'm gonna go straight to square meters and use $75 per square meter for my bricks. Now I'm gonna hit this uh, take off button here. When I do, it's gonna go into the measuring tool in square meters, and it's really worth a mention that it knows it's square meters because of this box here, which sounds very simple, uh, but what it means is that if I put in something that it doesn't recognize, like even something like meters squared, it won't pick that up. And it will ask at that point saying, hey, I don't know what you're talking about. You've got to pick one of the four takeoffs that, uh, that we use. So it is very much looking for M2 for meters squared. Now, although I'm doing this square meters for bricks, um, this is also a great uh, tool to be used for paint or wrap or cladding or floor covering or yellow tongue, um, render even, a whole horde of things. And this is, as mentioned at the start, probably the most common um, way that you'll be measuring with square meters. Now I'm in the takeoff, it's got square meters here. All of the tools up the top left are for square meters. The ones I'm specifically interested in at the moment are the polygon, the rectangle, and the circle is worth a mention. This line, um, which is basically a line where you give it the height and you can draw along walls, it's uh, also called vertical square meters, has its own video, so we won't touch on this one. In the same way, pitched square meters um, has its own video and we won't talk about that one in this video either. So what I'm gonna do is start by going to my elevation plan and this is for bricks, so I've picked the polygon, which will be the default anyway. And all I'm doing is going corner to corner. You've gotta go either clockwise or anti-clockwise um, and follow the corners in order. What I mean by this is if I was to go, let's say start here and go to that corner and then up to there and over to there, it'll cross over and it'll be a complete mess. So I'm just gonna use the escape key on my keyboard to undo those clicks, which is a good trick just to be aware of. There, there, there. And it basically doesn't wanna finish. Uh, this polygon is designed to just keep going until you tell it it's done. And you tell it that by going in this green dot here. What I will typically do is do all the positive areas first. Um, before I go and take out things like windows. So I will go that wall, this wall, like that. And the reason I do it this way is once I start um, taking windows out, I'm using this minus tool. And this is an on and off switch. So this is called deductions. And if you're turning this on and off a lot, uh, it is it is easy when you're learning the software to not realize that it's been left on and deduct a whole wall. A quick pointer on this is anytime there is a deduction, it will be black like that. So deductions are really easy to spot and also the label is a minus, but really just a safety measure is um, we teach people to do all the positive areas and then do all the deductions in one go. I switched to the rectangle for windows Personally, I just find it quicker. It's two clicks versus five if you're using the polygon. But when you're pulling out windows, it really is just like this. Doors as well, obviously. The total in the top right is keeping a running total and all that's doing is getting all the positive areas, minusing all the, all the minus areas. You can do this across several pages. So even if you have um, two elevations on one page, two elevations on another, this running total will keep a total across all the different pages you draw on. 
So I'll do that, we'll do that. So I'm happy with that, that's all my drawings done. Quick note that if I needed to undo things I've done, um, this undo shape undoes the last completed drawing, which would be this one. If you're halfway through a drawing and you click it, the drawing that you're currently working on isn't completed, so it'll undo the one before it. This red recycle bin wipes the whole page clean. You can also click in the labels to remove them. And last little tip here, if you find that these labels get in the way, you can use this little show and hide tag here just to show and hide them. I'm now happy with the measurement I've done, so I'm gonna go accept and save. It will drop that measurement into the quantity box for this, and behind the scenes, it's all also saved that takeoff drawing into the plans and takeoffs tab, so I can go look at it if I need to. Great, so that's basic square meters and how to do those.